Yeah. Doesn't matter, we're going live. Lee is now live. Welcome to the early music. As I get a couple things pulled together here, because I wasn't paying attention to time. Yeehaw! Yeah. <clears throat> Don't claim to know your story, don't even have my own. In search for glory, on with that sacred rules of old, the human missing. Down Highway 49. Devil's at the crossroads, sitting doing time. And discovered, passed down from saint to sage Like a kind-hearted lover who's been lost on this stage Went missing down Highway 49 Devil's at the crossroads, sitting doing time No, my classic press plugins are not out. Not for me, but there's others that have got them out there. So, welcome to the show. Appreciate everyone who stops by. Always appreciated. And uh, we are running right on the nose beautifully today. And it's time to take the show live. <clears throat> so, let's get this puppy wound up and off we go. It's episode 434, and I've got plugins for affiliate commissions, analytics in your dashboard, image sliders, and classic press options, all coming up on WordPress plugins from A to Z. WordPress. It's the most popular content management and website solution on the internet. And with over 80,000 plugins to choose from, how do you separate the junk from the gems? 
Join us for a weekly, unrehearsed conversation about the latest and greatest in WordPress plugins. This is WordPress Plugins from A to Z. Well, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you happen to be hiding out there on the globe today. Coming to you direct from the Brewery Overlook in beautiful Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. I'm John Overall, and I have a little short greeting from uh, one of our listeners out there. Good morning, good afternoon, depending on which coast you reside. Oh, thank you very much for that little short snippet. I greatly appreciate it. Anything anyone wants to drop in and send me for playing, I'm more than happy to uh, oblige, unless it gets rude and crude, then I just won't do it. Can I say, I have to draw the line somewhere. All right, well, we have the usual great show for you today, but of course, don't forget, right off the top, you can get the, all the show notes over at WPPluginsAtoZ.com and take a minute or two and subscribe to the newsletter and get out there and hit everyone in the mouth that you know. Spread the word about WP Plugins A to Z. Catch it live every Thursday at noon on our YouTube channel and, of course, in your favorite podcast player app. Just go look up WPPluginsAtoZ.com and it is there. And all that being said, let's dive right into the meat and potatoes of the show. All right, so first off, what have we got for you today? It looks like I have a plugin that I have not been I haven't used yet. This one was sent in by a listener as as a starting with that tongue twister thing early in the show today. Starting out, I have a plugin that I have yet to use, but I felt you would like to know more about it. It was sent in by a listener. It was sent in by Steve Wingret, and it is called Coupon Panel, and it's from Feeds4. And this is a plugin that if you do affiliate stuff and marketing and coupons, etc., Feeds4, this is a new plugin from them called Coupon Panel, which allows you... WordPress owners to display relevant or targeted coupons and promotions to their visitors. It appears that this is a third party system. They have some free stuff and some paid premium versions of it. It sort of expands up and down depending on what you're doing. The things you can do with the coupon panel is content. It maintains coupon content. It means once activated and the short code is entered, it finds promotional current content for your site to help you uh, get inf information in there to bring it in there. It allows for monetization of your site and curation to help prick pick predefined categories and get re and relevant merchants and promotions in those specific categories. You can customize it up and cost. Well, it says free, but it's an API service. And what they do with it is they have a shared commission service with it where the commissions earned through the coupons are split 70, 30, 30 to you, 70 to them. So, I don't know how useful it is. It's not something I personally would use, but I thought, you know, who knows? Maybe some listeners out there do affiliate kind of work, and this is something you might not know about, and it could be something of interest. You may want to go check this out. Based upon everything I read about it and how it looks, I give this a nice middle-of-the-road three-dragon rating. It doesn't look good. It doesn't look bad. It looks like it could be very helpful and useful for those that are into the affiliate coupon marketing segment of the internet. And it is a very large segment, so this might be something useful if you're looking for a new niche market. This may be something to target yourself into. So go check it out. It's called Coupon Panel, and I give it a three-dragon rating. Hey, a little bit of WordPress news, and we do have just a bit this week. Uh, a lot, a couple of things in and around security. First off, uh, what we've got for you is an article here from Techie Expert. It's WordPress uh, security tricks to keep your business website safe. This is a good article on how to make sure that some of your basics are taken care of on your site, uh, securing your WP config file, uh, getting a backup solution, passwords, et cetera, et cetera. It's a good basic article rundown on stuff you'll want to do to your site. So just go read it. It can really help you out. Now we do have a couple of interesting things and this one here is an interesting one for me because I hadn't heard about this as a problem, but it, see, it seems skimmers for Magento and WordPress exist. And if you don't know what a skimmer is or if you think you know, which I thought I knew and I was kind of right, a skimmer is a 
program or a device that skims credit card numbers as someone is entering the data in your website and skims those numbers off. It's the way what happened to me several years ago when I actually got compromised on my credit card and it was through it was back when WooCommerce was located in South Africa and you had to pay with a specific system. I got skimmed on that and they compromised my credit card. So this was some time back, but it seems like this is still a problem. And credit card skimmers uh, injected code have been found in WordPress core. They've been injected into the WordPress core through through various formats. This is a malware campaign that is out there. You might want to read this. If you run an e-commerce store, you need to be aware of this and you need to take appropriate precautions to protect your users' data as it's being transmitted. And this is the problem of letting them enter the credit card information on your website and then it being transmitted over somewhere else. Is in that process of transmission is where it can be skimmed out or in the process of them entering it on your website it can be skimmed right there. So this is something you'll want to read. You'll want to check this article out if you're doing any of that sort of thing. Now, of course, the next one up we've got here is the malvertising. And this is an ongoing problem. It's been ongoing for several weeks and it still seems to be out there. And we can't stress this enough. What this is, is malware that people are installing themselves on their own websites. How are they installing them? They're downloading, they're downloading, um, what did it say? Forked, not forked, the words I'm looking for. Um, Basically, they're taking premium version, they're, they're getting premium version plugins and themes for free through these freebie sites, and they're installing them thinking they're getting premium plugins for free. Well, they are, but they're getting a whole bunch of extra code to go with it. And this is one of the problems of not getting your premium plugins from the source or from known good quality suppliers. This is something you'll want to be aware of and check out. Go read this article up. It's a pretty, a pretty good article. It talks about it. And if you are getting the noobed, ner nerfed, um, what's the word? For some reason, it is escaping my head. All right, I give up. If you're if you're not using appropriate uh, professional plugins, then you'll want to uh, start doing that. Pay it, pay for the plugins. Quit uh, stealing them. All right, what do we got next up here? Contest. Well, right now we don't have a contest going. The winner of our last contest, um, and of course our contests are powered by the Simple Giveaways plugin, who has kindly provided us with the premium version for all our contests. The winner of the last contest for Social Rabbit uh, was Sherry. Congratulations. That was a couple of weeks ago. Excellent plugin. This is uh, an excellent plugin I reviewed in episode 428. Connect all your social networks and share out your content. So go check out the review in episode 428 and go check out the plugin at Social Rabbit. And the next contest will be coming soon, just as soon as I find the time to finish getting it all arranged. Time, that's the one thing we have a finite amount of. So we're always trying to find that extra time. And next up, I have for you, Google has released a plugin for WordPress. This is SiteKit by Google. Now, this um, seems to be replacing, I know a few months back, you, you lost the ability in Yoast to access the Google dashboard. They dropped their API. Many other SEO plugins have suddenly lost all the access to it. Well, it turns out, obviously, the reason why is Google has now released their own official plugin to tap into your WordPress website. Now, of course, since Google does no evil, yeah, they're going to get into your website and you're going to give them all kinds of additional information that they might not have had before. So it could be good, could be bad. If you're really digging into your stats, this is something you'll want to look into. It does look like a pretty great plugin. I haven't installed it yet and I'll install it just like every other drone out there on the planet and let Google come through and you know, clean through my underwear and see what I'm wearing today. Um, 
it's a really good one. It, it brings into your dashboard the search console information, Google Analytics. If you do Google AdSense, it brings the AdSense information into your WordPress dashboard. Gives you page speed insights. It's got a tag manager to help you manage tags on your website. It's got an optimizer to help you set up and optimize co uh, on your site. Really nice plugin. It seems like it's going to work quite nicely. Not sure of the setup. It should be relatively straightforward to set up. Uh, usually probably just go out and get the API needed, connect it up, or who knows, maybe they make it as simple as many others. Click these buttons here, log into Google, accept this, accept that, boom, you're done. So all in all, not too bad. Interesting thing, this plugin was released on October 31st, and as of today, November 14th, it has over 50,000 installs. So people are installing it at a very rapid pace. So go check it out. The site kit by Google and I give it a four dragon rating. Okay, listener feedback. I would love some listener feedback, folks. Please send me some listener feedback. I haven't had that in so long. I'm beginning to wonder if anyone's even listening to the show anymore. So send me some listener feedback. Uh, SpeakPipe is a really great way to send me feedback. You can also... Uh, Send me emails, messages. There's lots of ways to send me content. Tell me what you think of the show, whether it's show is going good, whether it's horrible, whether I need to expand something, contract something, anything. You know, I'm beginning to think there's nobody out there listening to me aside from Joey, who's listening online right now. So thanks, Joey. I appreciate you coming in today. All right. Um, Show supporters, this show is supported by you, ah, my producers, as a value for value model, meaning if you get any value out of it, then please give some value back. And that value can be anything. You can donate money to the show. Just click the link. Donate money is never going to make it in my pocket. It's only going to make it to pay for my expenses for it. Anything $50 and over, you're credited with an executive producer credit, which you can claim and use and say, hey, I was executive producer of WordPress plugins, A to Z, episode such and such you know put that in your resume you know claim res i will vouch for you all the way and uh if you also get a show note read out and uh links back to wherever you want the links going back to in that note submit artwork if you're an artist and you would like to uh bring in some artwork send me some artwork i will showcase that artwork every week in the uh in the uh covers the stuff that goes out to iTunes and the stuff that's used on the website, all of that artwork is showcased and you get credit in the show notes for that. You can submit articles, news, and information, submit plug-in suggestions for reviews. Um, if you're into Patreon, go create a Patreon uh, monthly Patreon donation, something small. And I do get a couple of small donations from those. And for those, I thank you very much. This week, I would like to acknowledge the artwork for this week's show comes from Angel Lemu of Koa Digital. Really great art. He likes to produce some interesting stuff. And of course, this show, uh, week's show title, The Pug no, Pugs No More, well, nobody noticed for the longest time, it seems, that I had in my logo WP Puggins. A to Z, going back probably about 30 or 40 episodes. And I finally got an email from a listener that says, hey, did you know you got a typo here? And it's like, oh, really? Yeah, thanks. And I uh, appreciate that. So that's been fixed. So we are WP plugins no more. We are back to being WP plugins, A to Z. And uh, Angel has supplied the really great pug artwork for this week. So check out the artwork when it comes through. So thank you to, uh, again to ever all the producers out there who come in below $50. This show currently brought to you by Save Time and Money Managing Multiple WordPress Websites. If you have several WordPress websites to manage, either for your clients or yourself, then you know how much time it can take managing them all. Time that is spent on mundane administrative tasks and then losing that time for your important business tasks. CMS Commander is an online service that solves this problem and makes managing multiple WordPress websites fast and easy, as simple as controlling a single site. By placing all your websites in one powerful dashboard, CMS Commander makes it possible to update, backup, and manage them all at the same time in one place. Features of CMS and Commander include one-click updates of plugins, themes, and WordPress core for all sites. 
automatic scheduled website backups, website cloning and restoration, uptime monitoring and analytics integration, bulk posting and automatic content. Sign up now for your 14-day trial at cmscommander.com and access all the features that will allow you to manage more websites and save time. Absolutely. CMS Commander, great system. I've been using it myself for, oh, going on nine years now. So something that works very well for managing lots of multiple websites and it has lots of additions in it. And if you could, try to use the link in the show notes. That is an affiliate link for me. Greatly appreciate it. All right. The next plugin I have for you here is Master Slider a responsive touch slider. Now, last week uh, I'm working on a project that I needed a good gallery slider. And of course, Elementor has lots of ways to manage images in it, but it doesn't have a good gallery slider built into it, nor the add-on tools that I purchased that displays one image, a nice bunch of images across the bottom, and you can slide them across the bottom. It, there was just nothing there that worked. So I had to go dig around a little bit and go check it out. I tripped across Master Slider and I thought, that looks like it's what I want. So we'll give it a try. And sure enough, it works really quite well. It uh, sets up relatively easy. You have to manually enter all the images one at a time, but unless you're doing hundreds, and unfortunately I was doing more than 25, but it sets them all up. It gives you multiple ways to display your sliders. It does have a premium version, which can be used for it but it's lots of ways and lots of configurations for using this particular plugin. And I found it to be quite excellent for setting up and something that went very well. So go check this out. It's called Master Slider Responsive Touch Slider, and I give it a four dragon rating. So go check that one out. All right, Classic Press options. What do we have for Classic Press this week? Unfortunately, not a whole heck of a lot. It's been a slow week for Classic Press as far as I could tell. It could also be me. I've had a very busy week with other projects and I wasn't as able to do much research this week. And uh, there is a couple of bit of uh, information rolling over from last week. And this is good until November 20th is... Classic Press is accepting self-nominations for the 2020 Classic Press Management Committee elections. So if you're interested in doing something on the Classic Press board and you've been involved in the community a bit, get in there, get yourself nominated to get, a, get elected to that board and help them out. For other bits and pieces, you can go in there and check out the listing of the committee candidates that are up now, and they've increased it by a couple since the last time I looked at it. Looks like they've increased it by two, three, four since I was last in there. So it is uh, getting a fair number of people in there. And there's more information around that, drop into the Classic Press forums. If you can help people there, help them out. Classic Press is growing quite nicely. And I really feel over the next year, it's going to make some sudden jumps forward uh, with some of the projects that are ongoing. And one of the big projects that's ongoing right now is that the WooCommerce plugin has been forked. To, it will be classic commerce and there's a page in here a link in the show notes to take you to information about what classic press commerce is and what they're doing with it personally i think once this gets launched out for classic press it's going to make a world of difference for classic press as more and more classic press plugins are released and more and more developers start to put a little more focus into it I believe it's going to even make more of a run for its money. I mean, after all, Classic Press is literally just over one year old now, and they've come a long ways. And I've really been impressed with the community, the way the community acts, and the way that they have helped others. And my interactions with the community have been fantastic. So go check out Classic Press. There's a lot there that could be benefit. I've even moved my WP plugins A to Z website now runs on Classic Press and all the plugins I use from WordPress are working beautifully under it and they'll probably stay that way for a while. And when the time comes that I have to change, hopefully there's new plugins developed for it. And even if they are premiums, probably half the plugins I use right now are premium anyway, so I don't mind paying for plugins. 
and you shouldn't either. The, the price is usually more than reasonable for the plugins. Classic Press Resources, the usual resources for Classic Press, Classic Press Club, go check them out. They're another resource where you can go find out more information about Classic Press in a less formal uh, atmosphere. There's the list of Classic Press must-have plugins. These are the plugins that people feel need to be sourced out, and it's a list that's slowly changing and showing what people are doing to change out and create the plugins that are really needed to make a site work. And then there's the list over at uh, Classic Press that uh, Code Potent is uh, is running and currently it doesn't look like it's grown any it's still got only 42 in there so a lot of good basic plugins in there and there's a couple of specialized ones so go check out this list if you're running classic press if you want to keep with classic press specific plugins that's pretty much all i have here today on everything and uh I guess we'll just call it a wrap at that. Uh, anyone wants to chat after the show, feel free. Uh, I'll stick around for a little bit. And one quick question from Joey. Uh, do premium WP plugin developers provide support for Classic Press? Some do, some don't. You have to, you have to email them directly. There's been a few out there, and I don't have the list, but there's been a few out there that have said they will support Classic Press. And what's going to happen is, of course, their main money comes from WordPress. And, of course, they can't abandon WordPress in mass until they have enough people over at Classic Press to abandon WordPress. So they got to kind of do what I'm doing right now is living in both worlds. Eventually, I'm going to have to choose one or the other. And that is a given for anyone who is in the uh WordPress, Classic Press world. Right now, those worlds are still sliding side by side. But in another year or two, they're going to split dramatically. And that dramatic split, I believe, is going to happen in 2021 when WordPress stops supporting the Classic Editor. As soon as WordPress stops supporting the Classic Editor, that's where the major split is going to occur. So that's my belief. So we got about, a, we got, we got about two years. And then that's, it's going to split. It has to. has no option at that point. Hey, anyway, stick around after the show. And I covered up in this episode the coupon panel, which I gave a 3 2, the site kit by Google, which I gave a 4 2, the master slider response touch slider, which I gave a 4 2. And a couple of quick reminders the latest interview is now out, and it is with Kim Gerstad from, uh, from Mail Poet. You can get it. There's a link in the show notes to it, or just go to WPPluginsAtoZ.com, and it's right there on the right-hand side of the page. It's a really great interview talking about MailPoet and where it came from and what it's doing now. It's actually quite impressive. And, of course, the next WordPress meetup in Victoria will be November 28th, and... Uh, at 6 p.m. or 6.30 p.m., it will be broadcast live here on the YouTube channel. For more information, just go check out WPPluginsAtoZ.com slash meetup for everything, all that information. That pretty much wraps it up. I'm going to let my girl take us out of here, but I will stick around for a couple of minutes after the show. Reminders for the show. All show notes can be found at WPPluginsAtoZ.com. And while you're there, subscribe to the newsletter for more useful information delivered directly to your inbox. WP Plugins A to Z is a show that offers honest and unbiased reviews of plugins created by developers because you support the show. Help keep the show honest and unbiased by going to WPPluginsAtoZ.com slash donate and set the donation level that fits your budget. Help us make the show better for you by subscribing and reviewing the show at Stitcher Radio, Google Play, and in the iTunes Store. You can also leave us a review on our Facebook page using WPPluginsAtoZ.com slash Facebook. You can also watch the show live on YouTube, check out the screencasts and training videos, and remember to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications of all new videos. Follow the show on Twitter at WPPluginsAtoZ. John can also be reached at his website, JohnOverall.com, or email him directly, john at wppro.ca. Thanks for joining us and have a great day.
Thanks for listening to the show. This show is copyrighted by JohnOverall.com. So until next time, have yourselves a good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you happen to be out there on the globe today. Alrighty then. Thanks, Joy. I do uh, try to be consistent week after week. I feel that if I manage, if I miss a week and it's not for a significant reason, the show may die permanently because it's actually a bit of a chore to make sure it gets done every week. I don't, I don't know if anyone's anyone who's never done a podcast and tried to make it consistent doesn't understand the amount of work that goes into each show. It's a, it's a good, it's a good morning. I start, I start prepping for the show at around uh, eight, nine AM. And then uh, I usually get about an hour to have breakfast and relax a bit before it's time to uh, take her live. So, but I also spend uh, during the course of the week, I try to gather information. When I see a new plugin I work on, I try to stick it in my notes to make sure I remember to bring it up on the show. When someone sends an email, I try to make sure it gets in the notes. I do miss things because the show is a secondary thing to my actual business. And uh, that's just the way it goes. But thank you. I appreciate you coming in and uh, asking a couple of really great questions. And uh, get out there and just hit everyone in the mouth. Tell them about it. And the hit them in the mouth comes from the No Agenda Show. Go check out the No Agenda Show at noagenda.com. Really great podcast. Those guys have been an inspiration to my show. And uh, the fact that they've been doing their show for 10 years and they've got over 1,300 episodes is inspiring because it takes a lot to keep a show going. No, well, unfortunately, most people don't realize. It's like, ah, oh, it's a podcast. How hard can it be? Just record something and put it up. Well, you need notes. You got to record it. You got to edit it. A lot goes into it, but I do it. I do it partly because I really enjoy it. Uh, partly because it helps me with my research. Oh, no agenda show. Absolutely. Uh oh, come on. There we go. Let's see. No A G N D A show.com pretty sure that's where it is let's make sure open it up yeah that's it yep their latest show was today it's really funny as i i chose thursday to do my show at noon i forgetting that they do their show live from uh, 9 a.m to noon but i have to i have to quit listening to them about uh, 10 30 or 11 so that i can actually finish with my stuff but uh, they're really great. They're really great guys. But that's where hit. That's where I get out there and hit them in the mouth comes from, from their show. I I, I blatantly steal from their show as they as they have mo so often said, steal what you want, have it, which is pretty much what I don't on my show. When anything people want, yeah, steal it to the best of your ability. Just try to give me credit back where you can. I really appreciate it. All right, well, I'm going to wrap it up, get this thing cut off and uh, edit it up and get it published. So thanks a lot. You have a great day, Joey. I appreciate you taking the time to come in and listen. Take care now. Bye-bye.